In this video, we'll be painting this gorgeous little girl in oils using the underpainting technique. Hi, I'm Marion Dutton. Welcome to Maz Art Studio. Now, if you'd like to paint along with me, you can grab your own free tracing, free reference photo, and free PDF material list so that you know exactly what materials I'll be using. This reference photo was taken from Pixabay, but I have completely changed the background to make it a much more interesting painting. I'll be painting this tutorial in two parts. Part one, the underpainting, which is coming up next, and part two, the colour layers, which will be coming up in next week's video. So without further ado, let's begin the underpainting. I've transferred the image to my canvas board and used a fixative. And so as always, we're going to begin with some lean medium and today I'm using burnt umber. I'm going to put a little puddle of the medium to one side, grab some of the burnt umber to create a really nice creamy mixture. Once I've done that, I'm going to apply that to the sponge. And we'll apply that to our canvas. Now for this particular painting, I'm not taking it all the way to the edges. I'm actually just going to use it as a little vignette so we can create a really nice background. Once I've done that, I'll turn the sponge over and just lightly. Now I'm going to take a clean cloth and just soften any of these outer edges. I'm going to begin with a little raisin. And because this is so repetitive, I'm going to speed the footage up slightly for you. I'll use a variety of different brushes going straight into that burnt umber and just wiping that excess off on a paper towel. And we'll begin adding some darker tones. Use a mop to soften regularly. I'm carefully focusing on where I can see the lights and darks and I'll jump between the eraser and then adding on with the burnt umber. Thank you. 
you may find it useful to turn the photograph into a black and white photo so that you're able to see the values. Here I'm starting to add some real dark values to her dress. Here I'm using some Q-tips to do some erasing and this gives me a really soft look. And here I'm adding some darks into the water and I'm just leaving the lighter areas for the reflection. You're looking to create a finished picture, but just in one colour. We're establishing the overall tone of the whole painting. I'm moving back and forth between adding on that burnt umber and then removing paint with an eraser. Here I'm just adding a few marks just to suggest rainfall and then I'll take a, um, a paper towel and just wipe away any eraser dust. Mm -hmm. 
and here is our finished underpainting. I hope you enjoyed that underpainting. Don't forget you have to let this completely dry before you move on to do the coloured layers, which will be next week's video. Remember, if you are getting value from these lessons, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to add your comments down below and let me know what you'd like to see painted on this channel. If you do decide to have a go at this for yourself, I do hope you'll apply to join the Mazart tribe over on Facebook and share your versions with me on there. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you again in the next video.